Welcome to Whaler Talk, hosted by the Hartford Whalers Booster Club. Uh, tonight we are privileged to have uh, the CEO and general manager of the Danbury Whalers, Herm Sorcher, who has a 23-year hockey career in, uh, in sports, whether it's in Hartford, Danbury, and all over. Uh, so he's our guest tonight. We have Peter Hindle from TheExaminer.com. Uh, Pete? Well, Herm, thanks so much for coming. We really appreciate you coming out here uh you know, to, to the studio to talk to us because we uh, we recently went to a Danbury Whaler game and we had a blast. So first thing we thought was, how can we get Mr. Herm's sword here on the, on the show here? So we really appreciate it. What a pleasure. Thank yeah. you for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. That's great. Great um, to be here. We, we're, we're excited to learn a little bit about like uh, when you started your career, uh, you know, after yeah. you, after you were, uh, finished your college, you went to go work for the Whalers. Uh, what, did, what did you do there with yeah. the Whalers and what well, was that I, like? I, yeah, I went to the University of Hartford and I, I started with the... Um, my my junior year, one of my buddies is like, hey, um, you know, I'm going down to the Whalers. I'm going to get an internship there. Why don't you come with me? And one thing led to another. And uh, Kathy Conran and Jeff Miranda, who you know now Jeff is uh, vice president of team services for the NHL, they they hired me, and uh, I started working for the uh, for the Hartford Whalers. And you know, after we went through the whole interview process and what we're doing, they're like, all right, look, you're going to get uh, five dollars an hour. You're going to get a quarter for every ticket you sell, and you're going to get two tickets to every game. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to get two tickets to every game. I'll, say, I'll do whatever you want. And uh, those seasons I was there, I saw more NHL hockey mm. than I ever had in my life. Yeah. And I became, I, you know, I was, I'm from New Jersey. I became a huge heart for Wales fan. I can't, I'm a diehard <laughs> Uh, bleed green, Harf Whalers. I'm getting chills right now just talking about it <laughs> because I love the Harf Whalers yeah. and, and everything, all the memories and everything. But, you know, I didn't grow up a Harf Whalers fan. But, um, you know, so many great memories. Yeah. And, 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 you know, like I, when the team was moving, April, you know, we're talking about April 13th, 1997, mm -hmm. when the team announced that they were moving, I wrote um, like a 10 page paper mm -hmm. called it Harpoon to the Heart. And I, and I wrote about all the things that happened to me in my life because of the heart for whalers whether i met a friend at a game or we went to an event or i i you know some some incident happened and it was probably like there's probably like 10 you know really awesome life changing events because of the heart for whalers and you know, it was awesome, but uh, but hey, I, I bleed green, and uh, hey, 1997, that was a uh, that hey, that was you know that, that was the tough, last year of our team, right? Tough, tough, tough day for a lot of us. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but you know, you know, you worked for the Whalers, I worked for the Whalers, and I found that I was going to be a father uh, in the ticket office, sitting there, and you know, you share these life experiences, whether yeah. it's on the ice, at the games, with your family. Uh, our families didn't have a chance to see. Uh, the, the the whalers play our, sure. our kids but you know it, it doesn't mean that maybe yeah. one day we can get a hockey club back uh, no. now what's what's your your responsibility now as general manager of the t the team yeah um i uh, i you know, i've been working in professional sports since 1989 i got my start with the Hartford whalers and then uh spent 17 years in minor league baseball and had some opportunities to to get back into hockey and and there was an opportunity uh with an ownership group with the Federal Hockey League and a franchise in Danbury. And, uh, you know, my role is, you know, to run the day-to-day -day operation. And again, I have uh, five partners in the team. Then we have a, a full-time staff and we have a, a hockey coach and, you know, support staff throughout the, you know, the organization to, to do a variety of different things. But, I mean, basically my role with the Danbury Whalers is you know, oversee the day-to-day -day operation and make sure we're going in the right direction and uh, giving the fans the highest levels of customer service. I mean, that that's like the backbone of our franchise. We we will promise you the highest levels of customer service. Because look, whether, whether you're going for a cup of coffee, a new suit, a car, right. whether your purchase is a dollar or a hundred dollars, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, you, you want to feel great about who you're visiting and uh, where you're spending your money. and. Yeah. And that, that's, what, that's our philosophy. Do everything, you know, as to the best level we can do it to service the fans. Sure. Now, the night we went against the Williamsport Outlaws, yeah. uh, what, was the, what was the crowd, the, 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 the attendance for that night? I mean, I, you had a pretty good-sized crowd Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, specifically so many of the Never. games run into oh, each yeah. other, but, yeah. you know, we average about 18, 1,900 people in the building, and we've had, uh, you know, uh, you know, 27, 2,900 wow. people in there That's before. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that, that place jumps. It, yeah. oh, it is yeah. such an atmosphere in there. And, uh, you know, on a Saturday night, 
with good weather and some good things going, uh, you know, you you just you feel you feel. I felt good. the electricity yeah. when we were in there. It, it, yeah, it was oh, great. It's a, it's uh, a, it was it was a it was a good fast paced game that night, mm -hmm. and you know it was yeah. it was nice to see the up and downs. Not too many scrums. There were some scrums in the corners, but yeah. it really wasn't a fight filled game because right. I heard there was there was some some other games that you know that's. It was it was a yeah. big thing, but this was a great game, and, and yeah. they ended up winning in overtime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, we we get at it with uh, with some teams. There's <laughs> definitely some some good fisticuffs in the yep. team that we played that night. I mean, we we uh, well, there was almost a fight with our coaches. The coaches almost <laughs> yeah. went at it. But I mean, look, it's you know, it's people always say, you know, when we're talking about marketing the team, they're like, uh, there's fights. What about? I said, well, look, it's a high energy fast-paced, hard-hitting game, and you're going to get some high-speed collisions with a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, I mean, things, things, things you know, kind of take care of but themselves. But it's also part of the sport. And, you know, it unless is. you're a hockey fan, 100% hockey fan, you wouldn't, you know, you say, oh, fighting. You know, my father-in-law sits there, oh, my God, right? It's like, no, this is part of the game. It's part of the the energy. It's, it's, yeah. it's much faster than any other sport out there besides NASCAR, and they're inside a car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you yeah. know, when you, when you get going and you get... You know, and that's Deshaun and I talked about it in one of our shows, <laughs> and that's where these injuries are coming from because yeah. you have much more agile players and so on. Sure. So yeah, but, and, you know, and like j just on that note, like one of the you know you might say like, hey, what's a good heart for wear or what's a good what's a good Danbury <laughs> Whaler story? I remember uh, opening night two years ago, uh, we were playing the the New Jersey Williamsport team. They yep. they moved and became the Williamsport team, and and they had this fighter, and he was a you know top guy, and and he lined up against our top guy. And and I was just like, this guy is gonna beat a bear player. I mean, this is gonna be this isn't gonna be good. And I was like, you know, what was the conversation they were having? Because mm -hmm. these guys talk with each other. Sure. And the player on the Outlaws team said, hey, let's let's put on a show for these fans. And <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe not in those words, yeah, but it was yeah, like, yeah. hey. Let's let's put on a show, and you know what? It wasn't bad blood. It wasn't to be sure. malicious, but you know they had a fight. You got two thousand people standing up and cheering, yeah, and yeah. you know, look that that's that's part of the enthusiasm and part of what the fans get behind. And so, how many times has has one of the big guys gone out there and energized the home fans? You know, you, oh, see, yeah. you see it in the NHL. You know, you sure. see oh, yeah. you yeah. see one of these big guys come out there, and what are they going to do? Yeah. You know, they're not going to yeah. score yeah. a goal. <laughs> hey, you know, look, Jim McKenzie, Hartford sure. Whaler. Yeah, I mean, one of the most popular players and. You know, what did he win? The most popular player probably five, six years in <laughs> right, a row. exactly. And, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Back in the day, it was Tori Robertson. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. these, these are guys that, uh, actually, on the Jim McKenzie note, I, I ran into him at a, at a New Jersey Devil game. Really? And I said to him, hey, Jim, you know, I, I, and he was a member of the Devils mm -hmm. at the time. It was in, like, a, a yeah. playoff game. And I ran, a, ran into him. I was like, hey, Jim, uh, you know, awesome to meet you you know wow what a thrill and i remember i had a promotional picture of him in a hartford whale uniform wearing number 31 and i said you know i remember whatever the conversation was we were talking about it, and i said why did uh, why did you wear 31 or why did you switch to 33 he's like no i only wore 33 and i and i was like look i've got the picture <laughs> so it turned out when he, he had it we had a mutual friend mm -hmm. who a couple months later was talking about jim mckenzie and i said look i'm gonna fax you this picture and you show it to him and you say I'm the guy that you you know and then uh, he responded with some verbiage back to me through my mutual friend in a humorous manner but, but hey like I love Jim McKenzie That's great. I love yeah. that guy but but the, and correct me if I'm wrong your time with the whalers did you the, do you happen to remember their their community involvement yeah and, oh yeah I mean, it was everywhere we talk about it and when we do our uh, the booster mm -hmm. club donates uh, thousands of dollars every year to uh, yeah. charities, and you know it's one of those things where we want to maintain that. And what do you remember about the the Whaler charities? Well, I mean, like I said, I did not grow up in Connecticut. Yep. Uh, I'm a New Jersey native, and uh, my involvement and love for the Whalers really started in 1989. But um, the one that always sticks out to me is the Yukon Children's Cancer Fund, the mm -hmm. Tip a Whaler Dinner, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I had the the honor and privilege to work for Bill Barnes. Oh, Mr. Barnes was mm -hmm. the man. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know he was, whether he was the guy who started that mm -hmm. or was a big part of it, that was the one that always, you know, I, I, I was always like, that's what we should be doing. And we've tried to do some things with the Danbury Whalers, uh, you know, having the dinners and having the events mm -hmm. and tying in the charitable organizations and, uh, you know, just just in, just incredible stuff. I mean, to me, you know, your question was, which one do I remember? The Yukon Children's Cancer Fund, Tip a Whaler Dinner, mm -hmm. 
that that was the one that uh, I always thought that was that was an event. Wow, I would With love the to be part of reaching down to the yeah. small kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It really yeah. grabbed your heart, and it was a very sure. good marketing sure. scheme for doing such a yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, we've we've done that. We've done uh, the Prudence Crandall. Uh, you know, to have these charities come in uh, yeah. it really helps the organization whether it's sure. Danbury or Hartford or, or what's going on at the right. specific yeah. right. now, now your team made the playoffs last year yeah we've this is our third season in existence in the Federal Hockey League and uh, we we made the playoffs our first year we mm -hmm. lost in an incredible playoff series uh, five games best of five in overtime lost second year we came back we finished in fourth place we won um or we finished in third place. We won our first round mm -hmm. in overtime mm -hmm. in game three of best of three. We won our second series of best of three. Mm. We did a two game sweep and then we made it to the league finals and then we got swept three nothing. But mm. you, you know, that's a, that's a great, that, that's a great series. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I will tell you that, I mean, look, I've seen plenty of professional mm -hmm. hockey, college hockey, amateur hockey, right. I, and some of the games that I saw with the Federal Hockey League. Mm -hmm were absolutely phenomenal and I mean edge of your seat yeah I can't believe what I'm watching yeah. and uh, it was fun that night. oh I'll tell you it. yeah and, and yeah. it's not it's just it's not only that but I mean it's the fact that I mean regardless the uniforms make it really pop out for guys like us who yeah. I mean these things are incredible here yep. and I, I mean it's, it's even cool that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is your sponsor because yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean that's that's a cool patch to have yep. walk in there you yeah. know yep. but I mean the jerseys and, and uh, I think you have a green yeah. one show I, I, it's green. I, I, oh, look at that I mean this, this is uh, this one I, I love this one look it's got it's got the number 10 yeah, I yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I was, tends the man. Yeah. Hey, I always play the game <laughs> where you know you, you you watch a player sometimes wearing a, a special number for the Whalers, right. and you're like, hey, does that you know? Bring I don't think ball. we've had. To me, we had one player, a defenseman, who wore number five, and this guy wore his helmet and had about like the same you know six foot two, two ten, two fifteen mm -hmm. type build. And every time I saw him, I was like, that's all Samuels. <laughs> I, said, I yeah. was saying that in my yeah. mind over and over <laughs> and over again. And uh, yeah, look, when we when we hit the ice and you know, all green or mm -hmm. whether we're wearing the white, it, it's it's it, it looks phenomenal. Right. And uh, you know, it it gives you that moment where it just right. takes you back to you know what it looked like on the ice and uh, you know again hey look, bill barnes or whoever oh, bill barnes is a great man yeah. he hired me as well yeah and yeah. just when you when you remember bill barnes standing there in the office in a suit and tie he was the ultimate professional oh, yeah. yeah and he always exhibited such a, a professional manner and that's what he wanted from yeah. everyone who worked for him yeah, yeah. well uh, you know i don't know one of the partners in the danbury whalers is his son mike barnes I don't oh know. yes i worked with him oh, yeah. so Great yeah guy. so uh mike barnes is one mm -hmm. of the ownership partners of our team and our most valuable player award is called the william barnes D oh, Danbury Whalers. Awesome. Really, yeah, really, there's a whole. That's awesome. There's yeah. a whole thing on our web page. Did you have the the governor's uh, uh, son did. was we, playing at one time? We had uh, Daniel Malloy, yeah. and uh, he he was awesome. He yeah. was great to have. He was uh, uh, a lot of fun. And did, uh, did the governor come down to see him? Yeah. Play? Oh yeah. He, he saw did? a bunch of games. Yeah. I mean, before he was elected, he right. actually won. I guess won in November, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know he he was. Um, yeah, he. I mean, it was it was interesting to watch because at first he came to a couple games, yeah. mm -hmm. and he had his you know regular detail, and then once he won the election, then the detail oh, yeah. took yeah. on a whole. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I bet level. it is quite the yeah. detail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah, it was all. Hey, Dan Malloy uh, scored the first uh, Danbury Whaler goal in history. Yeah, there you go. Kidding. Uh, yeah. That's great. Oh, uh, yeah. If you look on uh, on our website, there's yeah. a lot of clips yeah. like awesome. that. But um, <laughs> I, but yeah, we, but the William Barnes Award is one of the things that I am. So you know, so proud of mm. that. You know, I know, I know wow. you know it because you worked Just for him. Just a phenomenal him. person. Yeah. To to be able to recognize a man like that uh, through our organization with his son and by naming that award that and 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 look what we do every year is you know we take a moment and we say, hey, this award is for Bill Barnes and so much of what we do with the Danbury Whalers, the good things that you love about the Danbury Whalers, are because you know. I was fortunate enough, and you know, to work for him, and you know, Mike, his oh. son, is part of our organization. Hey, Mike's just the same as Bill. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, we. Okay. So uh, it's a great moment. Mike presents the award every year, oh, nice. and it's awesome. And we've had Mike's family down at a bunch of games, nice. and uh, mm. good stuff. Really yeah. good stuff. 
Now, you, you guys are affiliated with the Trent, Trenton Titans, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, who are affiliated with the Adirondack uh, Phantoms. Right. Right, right. And so, so you're really a, a, a level down from, a couple levels down from the Flyers. Yeah. I yeah. mean, ultimately, um, the affiliations work a little bit yeah. different than baseball, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same process is Trenton needs a player. Right. You know, there's an injury, there's a call up, there's whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they need to go somewhere to fill that void. Right. And the first place they will look is, you know, okay, who does Danbury have? Do we need a defenseman? Do we need a goalie? Do we need a forward? And can we, can we get them a player? And, mm -hmm. you know, how it benefits us is, you know, sometimes they will, they will release a player or send a player down. Huh. And okay. they, you know, they, they are releasing a guy from their organization, but they, they want to keep an eye on him. Hey, this might work out down the road. Mm -hmm. Let's keep you here. Ah. As mm -hmm. opposed to going back to wherever you're from mm -hmm. right. and play with play with these oh, guys, yeah. and then some of the benefits that we get are, you know, look, they're great people to work with, um, but you know, our players sign with our organization mm -hmm. because they wanna they wanna know, hey, can I go to the uh, the Trenton training right. camp? Can I be in this call up process? And over the three years, well, last year we had 40 call ups, and the first year I want to say we had 20 something. So mm -hmm. in in two years, we've promoted. Uh, you know, <clears throat> sixty plus players mm. to double and triple A hockey, oh, and we've, right. we've put guys. Uh, we've had a guy play for the Connecticut Whale. We've had mm -hmm. uh, two guys on Bridgeport, mm -hmm. another guy in the Binghamton Senators, yeah. and wow. you know, so the uh, the other yeah. fifty plus are uh, you know to the East Coast Hockey League, right. and nice, Central nice. Hockey League. Yeah, yeah, oh, that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, that's, oh, that's great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, do you? Um, when we went to your arena, we, we, I mean, first of all, I wanted to get a hat and they were already sold out. So oh, I mean, that, man, your man, merchandise man. must move because I swear I never saw so many uh, yeah. jerseys of the home team. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, there were a ton of them. So uh, is, is, do people go online to get a Danbury yeah. Whalers jersey? Uh, yeah, they, they go online. They check out our website. Yeah. Um, you know, we do a lot of things in the arena. We auction off jerseys. Oh, nice. um, you know, we'll wear some special edition uh, uniforms. Yeah. And, you know, we look, our plan when we put the team out there was let's turn this community green you know mm -hmm. how can we get right. mm -hmm. how can we get the colors and the logo and how can we make it really easy for the fans to get a hold of these jerseys mm -hmm. so you know we we do a lot of really creative things and not you know not like we invented the jersey auction right. but right. we sure. do a lot of them we we want our fans coming to the game and right. and connecting to our players and wearing mm -hmm. the colors and you know knowing who these guys are and really making them accessible so yeah uh, yeah the, look merchandise we we sell a lot of and nice. uh, yeah you well, know. they're buying into your, it's, it's uh, territorializing, yeah. it's, it's perfect. I mean, when you think I mean, about it, it's, uh, what, it's 50, there. 60 yeah. miles from Hartford, maybe, around yeah. there? Yeah. Well, but, yeah. Yeah, now, look, a, a story for another show is this this jersey here, the blue one, Yeah. Um, what I have since learned, since my time in Danbury, is the hockey history in New Haven is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And this jersey is in theme of you know the New Haven Night Hall. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, you know the diagonal Danbury. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know really Connecticut has such a history of hockey. I oh, mean, yeah. such it a history. It does. It really absolutely. does. You know. I, yeah, I can tell you. I, I, I uh, monitor a, a Hartford Whalers message board for the current, yeah. and I can't tell you the guys that are on there. When I told them we put a big a thread out there about the Danbury Whalers, yeah. and these guys came in and go, "Oh, you didn't look at this. I forget what section it was, but it said you didn't look at our section because we're the guys that used to go to New Haven. Yeah. They knocked down our arena, so now we go to yeah. we go to Danbury." Wow. And, and yeah. I also heard about other guys going uh, coming up from New York to see yeah. your team. And uh, we, you know. we have uh, a great following from you know a regional perspective. Right. I mean, you know, we're going to draw within a half hour drive range of our team. Right. You know, that, I mean, look, that's the minor league found minor league right. foundation. But you know, New Haven had the Coliseum. They had section fourteen. These right. fans are rabid. Yeah, yeah. They are. Yeah, they are. They are passionate. <laughs> they were. They are crazy. Yeah. And what they feel about the New Haven Nighthawks and yeah. and that whole city and that building mm -hmm. is the same stuff we're talking about with the Hartford Whalers. That's awesome. And, yeah. And uh, so you know we've really opened. Um, you know, I mean, look when we brought in the Danbury Whalers. I mean, there already was a history of four seasons of professional hockey in Danbury. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, this is what we do. This is, and we said, look, guys, we, we want to make you guys feel at home. Tell us what right. we do. How can we make it sure. um, a great atmosphere? You know, like one of the things is, is we come out to Welcome to the Jungle. Well, that was, that was a New Haven song. <laughs> right. I mean, my, my first yeah. thought was, oh, yeah, let's come out to uh, Brass Bonanza or let's come yeah. out to um, uh, Zombie Nation or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. These are great hockey songs. They're like, no, 
we come out to <laughs> welcome to the jungle. Yeah, yeah. like, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. that's the way it I is. I understand. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hey, look, we don't, I don't want to get in the way of culture sure. and uh, sure. traditions. And what we do every game, when we come out onto the ice for the second period, we play the Brass Bonanza. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, that's that's right. awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. You, know, yeah. it, it's, you uh, hear that song and it doesn't get old. No. It really doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a timeless classic. It, is. it yeah. really is. Yeah. I, I love it and I love seeing the reaction of people when we play it. And, uh, you know, we had Tony Harrington sing the anthem. Oh, I know, that's a great guy. Yeah. We, we had uh, Nick Fatiu uh, oh. down make a oh, couple nice. appearances. Mm. Um, we've done a Hartford Whalers tribute night. We, um, you know, look, we, we really try to pay tribute to the Whalers and, you know, the Hartford Whalers Booster Club mm. right. as, as much as we can. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know, Al Victor was at our initial press conference and that was that was one of the things that we, we, want, we did at, at yeah. that launch. We said, Al, you know, I'm, I met Al, his wife, and uh, Marty prior mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and, um, and one of the things that we talked about was I, I gave them, you know, our plan. I said, hey, this is what we want to do. And, you know, and, and in Al's words, or, you know, I can't, I'm kind of messing it up, <laughs> but it was like, hey, you know, go to Danbury. It's a great place to um, hear the Brass Bonanza, mm -hmm. wear your green, Mm -hmm. and and feel welcome sure, and, uh, and I said hey that that's what yeah. we want to do and uh, you know Al didn't really know me that well at mm -hmm. the time you know we had had some conversation but yeah. you know that, that they really he really stood up there and, and said hey give these guys a chance oh, absolutely. and uh, you know we're, we're real grateful yeah. for that and your inaugural season on the St. Patrick's Day Parade we were handing out the Danbury yes. uh, Whaler stuff we had yes. a bunch yeah. of kids come up but yes. uh, so you have like a 10 year lease right uh, yeah we have a 10 year lease so no, you're in your third year Dan, Dan Malloy Dan Malloy <laughs> <laughs> governor was yeah. there that day. I got a picture of me in that rainstorm. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah the Danbury Whaler said. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was okay. unbelievable. Yeah. I got a great picture of me and him there. Yeah. And I was like, hey, uh, I heard your son's going to try out. And he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> that's awesome. Who would have known? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? 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 You would never know. But that's, that, that's that was great. all. That parade was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're going to be marching cool. again this year. Yeah, we're going to do it every year. And it's a blast. When you come down to Asylum Street, oh man, you'll think it's 1990. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, it's really cool. So, my real question now is after hearing about how the Danbury Whalers have transformed from just a, a thought to where they are today. Yeah. How did you assemble your five partners? Were you having a beverage one night? Were you having dinner? Yeah. And you said, hey, wow, uh, wow you, let's, let's go out and buy a hockey club. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was, you know, just over the years, uh, you know, you, I mean, look, this was my career. And, um, you know, we, I'd say the organization is put together with people that were, you know, friends and family, mm -hmm. you know, people that were, that are real close to me and, uh, you know, myself and, you know, my main partner, uh, Alan Friedman, you know, we, we really just had a, had a plan and said, Hey, let's, this is what we need. Let's put this together and find the right individuals who want to be a part of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the first people that we reached out to were, you know, friends and family. So I mean, it's it's a really tight knit group. That's I mean, great. You know, we've never, you know, I, I would just say it, it. It really has been a lot of fun. You know, because when you know everyone is at the game, you know, you 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 know you, you feel it feels good. You know, well, it's, it's a happy. type of arena where you feel like you're yeah. you're you're not sitting. You know, way up. No, you're on top. You're of on it. top yeah. of the game, yeah. and the action's right in front of yeah. you. Oh and, yeah. And and I didn't see any problems with any any dis disgruntled people no I mean, it was very pleasant yeah. you know it, it was a very very pleasant evening yeah uh, and that was the best part about yeah. it yeah and it was exciting at the same time so i mean you had a lot yeah. of action not that we on. could have visited yeah. the penalty box i yeah. think <laughs> i think when, yeah, you know, the penalty box and uh, just to let you all you know is the is the adult beverage area yes. uh, that you might want to visit before the game <laughs> so uh get there plenty of time uh, some of the other restaurants in the area are, right. are fun to go to right. uh so, so you have your five partners, and you set out, and and then of course this making it through all through the the last big push last year with your your uh, your playoff run uh, must have been just unbelievable. Yeah, everyone is everyone was just so excited to be a part of it, and right. uh, you know I, I tell you it's it, it's it's very it's Working exciting. Well. It's yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. Hey, it's it's the passion that mm -hmm. that you have, and you know when you when you're doing something you love. Yeah, and you're having a, you know a lot more success than your predecessors. I think. I mean, you got the the longer lease than they had, and uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, what we look right from the start, we said 
the the three teams that were in Danbury prior to us getting there, I mean, we have just the highest levels of respect for them because they they established sure. this city as a minor league, as a viable minor league, uh, you know, city. And, uh, you know, they they did not last for a variety of reasons, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, each each team had their own story and right. their own thing that sure. that hurt them in the end or, you know, but, but they each did something Mm -hmm. That was unique and that was good. Yeah. And, you know, we learned from what they did. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, look, we still make plenty of mistakes. I mean, we still do <laughs> things. I was yeah. like, wow, I wish we yeah. could have done this differently. Sure. Yeah. But but we, um, it, you know, we're, we're always trying to develop it. We're always trying to see what was done in the past. How can we make it better? How can we improve on it? And we're constantly evaluating. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, look, we have a 10-year lease with the arena. We, we're in the process of our third year. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, it's been very good. positive. I mean, yeah. the record's very good. The the arena's in very good shape. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a clean yeah. place. Yeah. The food looked very good. Yeah. Uh, you know, these are all the things the kids can get something. Right. You know, and you're not going to lose your your wallet. Right. You know, going, right. to, going to spend the money on the game. Yeah. Was a, yeah. I think it was like 15 bucks a ticket, which yeah. is not yeah. a bad deal. Yeah. You go in and you can have your... Your, your food <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, but it was good I, yeah. I, I I had popcorn it was good so <laughs> I was happy good. that was my that enjoyable. was my contribution to the enjoyable, the, yeah. the, the, enjoyable. Yeah. now uh, how did the you know the Danbury uh, we talked about that the fan what are the fans like in Danbury versus when you get up to you know Hartford <laughs> or, or maybe Bridgeport maybe and Bridgeport yeah. and you know we only saw a, a small group of them. I like the two sections going back and forth for the, yeah. the yeah. Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, shout out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, what I remember about uh, Hartford fans versus mm -hmm. uh, Danbury fans was the Danbury fans are ve definitely very rowdy. I mean, they right. are definitely nice. rowdy. And, mm -hmm. you know, I remember the Hartford Whaler fans being, uh, you know, more reserved. And sure, they sure. want to see the passing, the scoring. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Our fans, uh, they want the hitting oh, sure. right out of the gate. <laughs> they, they Welcome to it. the jungle, right? <laughs> yeah, they love it. They want. And, you know, not in a bad sense, not to lose the context of the hockey game. And right. our fans, you know, no question, want to win. Right. I mean, that's it. They want to win. Oh, they right. were they were very passionate that yeah, night. Yeah, sure. That's, you know, something, something we'll pick up after we uh, see a highlight. Uh, from uh, the 86-87 Hartford Whalers season is is the passion that your your fans down in Danbury are going to uh, are going to exhibit every night that you yeah. go. It seems oh, like yeah. it is a great right. great passionate crowd. Mm -hmm. And as we talked about the passionate crowd, you know, we bring it back to Herm, and you know, we really appreciate you being here and bringing back the memories of the Whalers. But with your new club in the Danbury, we wish you the very best of luck. And we'll be part of that passionate crowd again. Yeah, we, we had a blast. definitely will be down there again. So I appreciate it, guys. Is there Th anything you'd like to tell the? Uh, yeah, well, hey, thank you for the time today. I really appreciate it. I, I love the battle that the Hartford Whalers Booster Club has kept going, and it's the you know, I look, yeah, yeah, hey, I, I look forward to the day that uh, the National Hockey League returns to uh, to the city of Hartford. And you know, in the meantime, uh, you can check out a lot of great videos and pictures of the Danbury Whalers at www. The Danbury whalers.com and a lot of great video highlights on there great so, well thank you, you so much for coming on thank you pleasure thank you yeah. we'll have, thank a, you. Thank have you. a fun time thank seeing you. you down there yeah all right awesome. and again we'll check you next time on whaler talk <laughs>